Hello, Anne. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Anne? I'm fine, thank you. All right, very good. Okay, so teacher was absent last night, right? Yes. Because it's my daughter's birthday. So, I have to be absent to celebrate the party with her, okay? So, how are you today, Anne? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, very good. Oh, mm, so what did you do the whole day today? Uh, um, nothing. Mm, nothing? You just stayed at home? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, how about schooling? How was your school? On the, la uh, on, the on last week? Uh, it was fine. It was fine. Very good. Okay, so Anne, let's begin our activity for tonight, okay? Okay, so this is our first activity. Okay, test one, we have reading and writing. All right, so you can see in the screen, Anne, you can see some words, okay, on the right corner of our screen. Yes. You are, you're going to choose your answers here, okay? So example, you send this to a friend at Christmas. Answer is a card. Okay, so number one, Anne, read and answer. Uh, a knife. Are you you um you read first? Read first the question. Uh, a knife. Uh, read first. You use this to cut paper. Uh, a knife. No. Or choose a different word. Mm -hmm. You use this to cut paper. Uh, scissors. All right, scissors is correct. Number two, when you study this subject, you learn about islands and jungle. Um, is that geography? 
Yes, it's correct. It's geography number three. If you can spell a word, you can use this to help you. What's your answer? Again, if you can spell a word, you can use this to help you. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you guess. Guess an answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess a word. Okay, I will tell you the answer. The answer here is a dictionary. Okay, number four. If you like drawing and painting, you should study this subject. Art. Art is correct. Next one. We need one of these to eat soup. A spoon. Okay, a spoon is correct. Okay, very good. You got four points. Okay, next one. And number six. When you are on holiday, you send this to your friends. When you are on holiday, you send this to your friends. Um. postcard okay a post all right a postcard is correct next one and number seven you use this to cut bread cheese and meat a knife okay a knife is correct next one you can study here after you leave school an university all right, a university. Next one. We put a letter or a card in this before we post it. An envelope. An envelope is correct. And last one. You can buy this every day and read about things which have happened. Um, 
the book? Are you sure? Oh, you changed your answer. That's wrong. Not a book. Uh, a newspaper. A newspaper is correct. Okay, postcard, knife, university, envelope, and newspaper. Very good. Okay, next one, Anne. Let's have this. Look and read. Just say yes or no, okay? Okay. So number one, and the girl is pulling the boy's hair. Oh, um, no. No, number two, some sweets have fallen on the floor. Um, no. No. Number three, the mice have eaten all the chocolate. Um, no. No, number four. The person who is pointing a letter is wearing a hat. Yes. Okay. Yes. Number five. The boy and the girl are whispering together. Mm. Oh, no. No. Number six. The cat is watching the mice very carefully. Uh, no. It's sleeping. Okay, no. Number seven. The monster is too short to take a book from the top shelf. No. Oh, the answer is yes. Six points. Very good, Anne. Okay, next one. Part three, five questions. Tom is talking to Helen about food. What does Helen say to Tom? Read the conversation and choose the best answer. Write letter A to H for each answer. You do not need to use all the letters, but there's one example. Okay, example. Hello, Helen. Oh, I'm so hungry. Answer is letter F. Okay, so Anne... I will read and then you answer Helen, okay, Anne? Okay. Number one, I didn't. What's your favorite food, Helen? B. B. Okay, it's cheese. Cheese on pizza and cheese on bread. Okay, next one, Anne. Mine's pasta. Who cooks your lunch? A. E. Okay, E. My sister, she likes doing that. Do you like cooking sometimes? A G. Uh, what's G? Can you read your answer, please? Yes, but I only like making easy things. Very good. Yes, that's fun. When did you start cooking? Uh, H. Uh, read, read letter H. At about midday, usually. Okay. Answer is C. I was about seven. It's difficult to remember. Next one. What time do you have your lunch? Uh, um, uh, maybe it's eight. 
Okay, that's age at about midday usually. Okay, so you got four points. Very good. Okay, next one. Let's have this. Part four, six questions. Read the story. Choose a word from the box. Write the correct word next to numbers one to five. There is one example. Okay, so you can see some words on the top. And so you're going to choose your answer there. All right, so read the story and then choose your answer. Are you read first? Oh, and you read the story first. On his last holiday, Fred went to the beautiful Iceland. His family swam and played a lot of tennis there. And at the, the end of the holiday, Fred didn't want to go home, but, but they had to. Had to. Uh -huh. They went to the airport to catch their plane. Uh -huh. Correct. The plane was late and they had to stay there for 12 hours. Uh -huh. Continue. It was very boring for Fred and the room. There was noisy and full of people but at the last but at last they could leave when the plan was clear okay uh, oh. okay wait so in this part you got two points okay continue and full of people but at last they could leave when the plan was near london the pilot said Sorry, everyone. The weather, the weather is too. Foggy for the plane to stop here. We'll, we'll fly to another city and you can catch a train to London. But Fred and his family arrived too late to catch the last train, so they stayed, stayed in a hotel. They didn't get home until the next afternoon, so Fred had one more day of holiday from school. He was very happy. Okay, very good. So you got four points. Now, Anne, choose the best name for the story. Uh, a Longer Holiday. Okay, the A Longer Holiday is correct. Okay, now, Anne, in this part, we have five, uh, seven questions. Okay, now, look at the picture and read the story. Write some words to complete the sentences about the story. You can use one, two, three, or four words. Okay, it's the story about Robert, Harry, and the clever dog. Okay, now Anne, can you read the story, please? Last summer, Robert and Harry stayed at their grandparents' house by the sea. One hot and sunny morning, grandmother made a picnic and took the boys to the beach. After lunch, grandmother lay out, lay down, and opened her book. The boys played football on the beach, and they made a little castle with some sand. Then Terry saw a straight cape, which was near some big gray rocks at the other end of the sea. 
the boy put put it ran to it and looked at it, but they couldn't see anything because it it was very dark. Harry said, "It look it looks big inside. Come on, I go first." Harry and Robert were playing inside the cave when suddenly Robert said, "Oh no, I can hear the sea. It's coming into the cave." They were very afraid, but then Harry felt a hand on his hand. It was a dog, dog snow. The dog was very clever. He showed the boy another way out of the cave and back to the beach. When he told the grandmother about the dog, he gave him free biscuits and said, "Well done. We're we're hungry too." The boy said, well, grandmother answered, you must wait until dinner. It was naughty to go into a dangerous place like that. We're very, very sorry, grandma. They said, we're going to do it again. Okay, very good. So example, Robert and his brother went to their grandparents' house last Summer. Next one. The weather was hot and sun sunny when they went to the beach. Okay, so question number one and the boys played with a blank and then made a castle with some sand. Football. Football is correct. Number two. The cove at the end of the beach was near blank. Some big gray rocks. Some big gray rocks. Number three, the boys couldn't see inside the cave because, because it was too black there. Dark. Dark. Okay, very good. Next one, and Blank was the first boy to go into the strange cave. Harry. Harry. The brothers felt blank when they heard the sea in the cave. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Answer is afraid okay next one robert and harry followed a very blank and went a different way back to the beach clever dog clever dog number seven the dog had some blank to eat because he helped the boys biscuits Biscuits is correct. Okay, so you got six points. Okay, very good. And now let's have this next part. It says here, part six, ten questions. Read the text. Choose the right words and write them on the lines. Okay, example. Last Saturday was a lovely day. Aunt Mary took Jill to Black. Okay, so now, number one. Her. It was a present for? Her. Okay, I'll continue reading and... Or read first. She liked the clothes very much. And she very liked much. The mm -hmm. lot. But there was a small problem that evening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Next one, number four. One of the clown was standing on a very tall elephant. Then when suddenly he uh, fell. Okay, and continue. In jail. Shout, be careful. But there was another small elephant which was standing. Near the big elephant, it quickly caught the clown and then put him very carefully down to the floor. The people in the crickets tent very were very happy and the clowns found a big box of bananas and gave it to the small elephant. Very good. Okay, you got nine points and oh wait, I will check one more time. Oh, ten points. Not nine, but it's ten. Okay, good job, and Next one. So this is part seven. Five questions. Read the story and write the missing words. Write one word on each line. All right, so example. Jim likes taking photographs. He wants to be a famous photographer like his father. Okay, one day Jim was in the country. Number one, he was sitting on a bridge when suddenly a big black girl stopped mm -hmm. and a beautiful woman uh, got out. Mm -hmm. She looked at her and thought, that's the queen. Okay. He walked to the car and said to the queen, um, excuse, excuse me, may I take your photograph? The queen said, you may, and smiled. She took the photo and ran home. He showed it to his father. It was a very good photo, so Jim's father put it in his news newspaper. Okay, very good, Anne. You got a perfect score again. That's nice. So you got five points. All right, good job, Anne. So now let's go to the next activity. Okay, wait for teacher. I will open one more activity. Wait for me and Okay. All right. So, Anne, wait for me. Give me three minutes because there's a problem opening our lesson. Okay, Anne? Okay. I'll wait for teacher.
Okay, so let's continue. Alright, so what's the title of the lesson for tonight, Anne? Fun events. Fun events. Okay, so let's have this one. Lesson one, family events. Okay, warm up. Choose and write. Complete the story. Okay, Anne, so you're going to choose your answer from the red letter words. Okay, so now Anne, read the story and then complete it by choosing the word. Last Saturday was my grandma's birthday. She is 75 years old now. Uh -huh. We all went, went to grandma, grandma's house. My mom baked a birthday cake. My dad gave her a present. It was a new... Sweater. sweater. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I made her birthday cards. We sang the happy birthday song. We all had a nice time at Grandma's. All right, very good. Four points. Next one, and So, Answer if it's true or false. Number one, Cody's family was home last Saturday. False. Okay, false. Oh, number two, it was Cody's grandma's birthday. Uh, true. True. Oh. Next mm -hmm. one, Cody's grandma was happy. Uh. True. True. Very good. Okay, next one, and Word practice. Let's have vocabulary words. All right, so what What can you say? Uh, what is the first picture, Anne? Can you read it, please? Um, we... I saw a family. Mm -hmm. So what are they doing in the picture? Uh, mm -hmm. What are they doing? Uh, or maybe they are celebrating an occasion, right? Yes. So what do you call that one? Can you read it, Anne? Family get together. Very good. Family get together. Number two picture, Anne. Uh, what's that? Can you read it? Uh, first birthday. First birthday, correct. Next one, Anne. What's the wedding first picture? Day. Okay, wedding day. So, Anne, have you attended a wedding day in Vietnam, in your country? Yes. Oh, so what is the color of the bride's? What is the color of the gown of the bride? Um. What color do they wear? Do they wear white also? Um, um, uh, the bride, mm -hmm. uh, my mom wear a white uh, a pink dress mm -hmm. and my dad wear a black costume. 
Ah, okay. So your mom wear your mom wear um a white dress and your dad wears the black coat. Oh, okay. Very good. So how about the second picture, Anne? Um relative. Relative. Okay, next one. Uh right. Right. Next one. Go. Go. Okay. So in the picture, Anne, you can see the man is, I think that is in the mountain, right? Yes. So have you been in the mount? Have you been to the mountain, Anne? Uh, I don't think so. Ah, uh, not yet. Yeah, because it's very dangerous going there. Climbing a mountain. Okay, next one. Number three. Where? Where? Okay, where? So, um, what? Do you have a baby sister, Anne? Uh, yes. So, what? What color of the dress that she that she really likes to wear? Uh, pink. Pink. Okay, so pink is her favorite color. Uh, pink too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next one, Ed. Picture number one. Bye. Bye. Next one. Cook. Cook. Okay, so Ed, do you like cooking? Uh, I don't enjoy that. Why? Uh, because, because I don't like to do it. Mm, you're not interested to cooking. Mm. So, what's your favorite thing to do, Anne, if you don't like cooking? What's your favorite hobby? If you don't want cooking. Uh, I like sleeping. Sleeping? But that's not a hobby. Sleeping. <laughs> oh, why do you like sleeping, Anne? Uh, hmm. Why do you like sleeping? Uh, uh, I have no reason. Mm, you just like sleeping to relax, to take a rest. How about swimming or playing ball, uh, badminton? Um, uh, I like swimming, but badminton I don't like. Mm, you like swimming, but you don't like badminton. Okay, so now let's have this activity and it says here, Choose and complete the sentence, okay? Choose your answers from the box. And number one. Yesterday was my aunt's wed wedding day. Okay, correct. Number two. We all went to her wedding. Number three. She was a beautiful bride. Beautiful bride. Number four. She wore a long white wedding dress. She wore a long white wedding dress. Is correct. Okay, next one, and Okay, it says here, choose and complete the sentence. Oh. Mm-hmm, okay. Uh, 
You can see now the answer. Okay, just read it and. Last Sunday was my cousin's first birthday. Uh -huh. We went to my uncle's house. Then were a lot of people. They, they all brought nice presents. Okay, all right, number nine. Last Saturday was was a family get together. Uh -huh. It was at our house. Correct, it was at our house. All my relatives came for dinner. My mom cooked a lot of food all day. Very good. Get together, was relatives, and cooked. Okay. All right, next one, and let's have this grammar practice. Write the correct form of the B verb. So, number one, and Jake and Tom blank at home yesterday. Where? Where? Number two, there blank a lot of people at the wedding last week. There are a lot of people at the wedding last week. Mm, the answer is where. Okay, number three. My brother blank excited all day yesterday. My brother was excited, excited all day yesterday. Very good. Number four. There blank an English test last Monday. Uh, there was... An English test last Monday. Very good. Number five. I blank nervous before the test yesterday. Uh, I was nervous before the test yesterday. Next one. They blank hungry after the game yesterday. They were. Very good. They were. Okay, so you got five points and one mistake only. All right, next one, Anne. Mm -hmm. Number one, we blank to the park yesterday. Uh, we went to the park yesterday. Number two, my friends blank me many presents. Uh, my friend give me many presents. What? What's your answer, Anne? Uh, give. Give, but the answer is gave. Okay, past tense. Number three, my dad blank home early yesterday. Uh, came home early yesterday. All right. My dad came. Correct. Number four. We sang a song at the tenant show. We sang a song at the talent show. Number five. My mom. My mom blanked a delicious dinner last Sunday. Uh, cook it a delicious dinner last Sunday. All right, cooked. Number six, they blanked the house together yesterday. Uh. Uh, they 
clean the house together. They cleaned. Mm -hmm, correct. Went, came, sang, cooked, and cleaned is correct. Okay, five points for this activity, and Very good. All right, and so we're finished with our lesson for tonight. So we, our next class will be on Tuesday. Okay, Anne? Okay. All right. Good night, Anne. See you again. Good night. Good night.